Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm painting another fantasy and I'm using just a limited palette. Um, still looks very colorful but for me it's a limited palette. You guys know I usually like to use a lot of color. Um, but anyways I'm starting this with a large filbert brush. I've got some light yellow green. Um, it's very close to chartreuse green and I've also got some titanium white and I've also got some phthalo blue so I'm just going to use a little bit of water working on a black canvas. This happens to be 11 by 14 but you can paint this on any size canvas of your choice. I've got just a little bit of water with my paint and I'm purposely making it different tones so sometimes I'm using a little bit more green in some areas and sometimes I've got a little bit more white so what I want to create here is a beautiful uh, sun ray atmosphere that I want to create some dramatic and moody uh, beautiful lighting so now I'm coming in and I'm not washing my brush off at all I'm coming in with my next color which is the phthalo blue it's naturally blending in and mixing in with a little bit of that white a little bit of the green at times and just working those colors out of my brush and blending into all sorts of different tones and hues on the canvas uh, organically and naturally I'm working wet on wet now if my paint happens to start setting into the canvas and drying a little bit quicker than I'd like then I will go and pick up just a little bit of water now I'm gonna apply more of the phthalo blue on the outer corners edges of the canvas and then work my way in to making it softer and lighter this is gonna help draw our eyes in uh, to that focal point which is that beautiful light and those soft sun rays Now without washing my brush off, I'm going to turn it the opposite way and just add a few lines getting longer and wider towards the bottom of the canvas, smaller and smaller towards the center uh, for a staircase here. And then I'm just naturally picking up a little bit of that wet yellow and white paint there and I'm going to take advantage of that and apply that for my highlight on the stairs. Now if your paint is dry and you're unable to do that then just go back to your palette and get those light colors again and apply them on top of each of your stairs. Now I've got one of my stipple brushes. You can use any mop or stipple brush that you want and I've got cobalt blue here. I've also got some violet uh, very close to magenta, quinacridone violet and I'm going to begin this first base of my foliage with the cobalt blue just tapping and I have not got my brush wet before. I With my oval mop any kind of mop brush that i'm using angle oval regular size mop or stipple brush i never get it wet first that will ruin the shape of your brush so you want it to um, look puffy like this and create that nice soft fluffy looking foliage and if you get it wet it'll just completely ruin that shape so that's really really important i need to let you guys know that because a lot of people don't know that if they're just starting out so now I've got a little bit of white mixed in with that blue and I've added a highlight and then right into my beautiful violet here with the blue and the white and I'm gonna just layer over and create some more foliage in front in the foreground and it's gonna sort of blend in with those other colors and we're gonna get different um, tones of violet blue purple uh, it's gonna be really really pretty kind of monochromatic here around the outside of the painting and the stairs and then we're gonna have that we're gonna be drawn into the center with that beautiful soft yellowy green color so um, I've got quite a few tutorials of garden and staircase la fantasy landscapes like this and um, many of them have uh, some really bright colors in them where I use neon pink neon orange neon red and rose and violet uh, I'll leave a link below for those and if you want to see more, I've got a whole playlist um, with all these types of garden scenes. So just different um, color combinations and ideas um, sure to inspire you guys and motivate you. So I hope you guys enjoy watching these ones. I love to paint these. I think these are really, really uh, relaxing to paint. You don't have to think too much about what you're painting because we're not working on any figures or animals or objects the only thing we're working on is just texture and letting the brush do the work for us and a few little lines so it's really really easy to create a dramatic um, painting like this with a with very few brush strokes and brushes 
Um, so just adding a little bit more white to my violet now, I'm creating this really soft pinky mauve uh, tone and that's getting you know the light hitting it from those sun rays so we're making it lighter and lighter as it gets closer to those stairs and the light from the background now I'm switching over to a small flat brush and this is optional you could use a filbert brush for this if you want you could use a liner a round brush I'm um, just showing you what you could do with a flat brush especially if you want a really straight line and I'm just adding another layer of highlight uh, to the tops of these stairs and these steps so just a little bit of white a little bit of yellow in there you can mix in um, cadmium yellow or that light green uh, yellow the chartreuse um, you could also use there's different colors that you could choose for your warm yellow soft glow back there you could use even a little bit of yellow ochre um, another choice that would be beautiful would be metallic gold so really kind of open your mind up and um, explore different colors and combinations I like doing a painting like this in like a series of three and I choose a few different colors and different themes of a color palette for each one just to kind of compare and see how they all look and when what a difference it makes and changes the whole mood and the vibe of the painting it's really fun and it's a great way to grow as an artist and learn about color mixing and what looks nice together and it kind of gives you an idea of what you like the best you know what we're all drawn to different colors we we don't all like the same things that makes us who we are right so if you try something uh in a few times in different colors it kind of helps you get to know yourself as an artist a little bit more and what you prefer and that can help narrow it down when sometimes we have these art blocks and we don't know what we want to paint and we don't know what colors we want to choose i'm coming in with some uh tree trunks and branches now keeping it really loose wiggly and then i'm going to switch over to a liner brush and do a few finer little lines for my branches towards the top of the trees and my background paint is still a little bit wet and i like taking advantage of that um, making for some soft uh, toned down colors for the background giving it that sort of a misty look and making it look like it's kind of far away we've got some uh, soft light kind of just filtering through those branches so I've got a really small liner brush here and if you don't have a liner brush you can use a round brush or just keep using a flat brush but just not pushing really hard you just want to be really really gentle and soft with the amount of pressure that you use and then you'll get those uh, very delicate looking branches that way using a lot of paint for those branches the paint on the canvas the painting is wet so I'm kind of just pulling around and using the paint in there to pull out and make all those branches with it's really fun doing that and now it's time for another layer of foliage so I've got a mop brush here a dry one and that's the only reason why I switched over because the other one I used previously is wet now and I can't get that nice puffy shape that I want. So I've switched over to a clean and dry one. I've got a little bit of my titanium white with that violet and I've got this beautiful mauve pinky color here now. So I'm just going to add a little hints of this wherever I want, concentrating more so towards the uh, staircase here and where that light might be hitting and especially where I want my eyes or our eyes to be drawn in to the focal point of the, the center of the painting. I do want to mention that I have uh, this is uh, the second no this is the first version of this painting and it doesn't have a fairy in it just has the waterfalls. Now I have a second version of this where I kept going with this painting and I made two videos so that you guys have the option of leaving it just like this and those of you fairy lovers out there like me can see step by step how to add a beautiful little fairy 
um, delivering some stardust and there's also a little patch of beautiful daisies down in the bottom right corner so be sure to have a look at that tutorial I'll leave a link below for that one and if you're on patreon you get to see both and of course have early access all my patrons um, kind of get spoiled I really value my patrons and I upload uh, sometimes a three to four times a week for my patrons plus I have monthly giveaways so if you like my YouTube channel, you'll love Patreon, and I'll leave a link below for you guys, and then you can join if you like it. You feel like that's something for you. It's as little as $5 a month. So I've got an angle brush now. Um, you can use a flat brush too. I kind of like to demonstrate using different brushes so you guys can see and learn about different brushes and their uses um, through my tutorials and my videos. So I've got a bit of water, a little bit of cadmium yellow cool, and some white I want to have more water than paint ratio so that I make sure that it's transparent and we get that filtered sun ray look to our light coming down here so I'm starting uh, up towards the left but not at the top of the corner there I want that to stay dark I want to have this vignette um, of dark to light so I just you can see where I started and began my little light rays and then I'm gonna just go across in the opposite direction add a few more highlights to the tops of the stairs um, as you know with acrylic paint maybe you don't know if you're new just watching this for the first time acrylic paint does dry tends to dry darker a few shades darker so initially when you first apply the paint it's nice and bright you think it looks great a few hours later you come back and you're like where did it go it doesn't that highlights not nice and bright anymore that's normal it's not anything you're doing wrong it's just uh, the rule and law of acrylic paint so you um, have to keep in mind that it's normal to have to go back and do a couple layers of highlights especially if you're working on a black canvas like I am today I like working on a black canvas though because we get that uh, real um, sense of um, shadow in our paintings and it's a lot easier to uh, build up to highlights when we have all that shadow to begin with because it makes for a really dramatic painting um, and here I'm going to come in and start adding my waterfalls I've got tons of tutorials on how to paint waterfalls I'm a, a waterfall fanatic and I add them here and there to a lot of my paintings um, they're really fun and really easy to paint. I got hooked on painting waterfalls, um, watching Bob Ross as a kid, and I've just continued by using here my little, um, angle brush, and I'm just pulling a little line across and then curving over and then dropping and flicking off quickly with my brush. I've started with, like, the light purpley mauve color, and then I come in and do a highlight with white over top. And I'm going to add some narrower ones just by using the tip of my brush and I'll make it just like look like some of my waterfalls are wider by using the full width and then like I said by using the tip of the brush just part of the brush I can change um, the width of those and make some of them just look like a little stream coming down and then I'll just add a little bit of movement down at the, the base of those falls a little bit of ripples uh, just by tapping my brush and wiggling it at the bottom and then uh, this painting is just about done I'll finish adding the final details here and hope you guys enjoyed this quick painting and there's so much that we got done in a short amount of time if you're a beginner if you're an advanced painter no matter what stage or level of painter you are you can do this I want you guys to try this because it's so satisfying and fun to paint Leave a comment below if you enjoyed this. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel um, and like this video. All of those things help put my videos out into the algorithm on YouTube so more people can learn to paint and enjoy my videos. Have a wonderful day. Happy painting, and I'll see you all soon in another video. Bye!